Um, hi guys, thanks for viewing my post and today I'll be unboxing and reviewing a KitchenAid Professional 5 Plus. I just got this in the mail yesterday and I'm excited to use it so let's unbox it. Okay, so this is what's inside our box. Let's just pull it out. Okay, so we unboxed it and it came with this booklet, if you can see, which has a bunch of recipes and instructions for our stand mixer. Okay, so let's just take out our side phone. Okay, so I removed the styrofoam from it and the professional stand mixer came with this five quart polished bowl, a wire whip, a nylon paddle attachment, and this spiral dough hook. Let's move it to the kitchen, see how it mixes. Okay, so we plugged in our professional five plus and if you haven't read my review on KitchenAid stand mixers, you should know that I had a classic one before and already one of the major Differences is that this bowl actually comes with a handle now One of the cons of this is that it's not Ergonomic, it's just more contoured to fit your hand, but it's not really comfortable and This isn't a tilt head model. This is a bowl lift So meaning you put your ingredients in and you raise it in place So and if you saw me also review over the, the attachments, they're pretty much bigger and you just add them in before raising your bowl and from there add in your ingredients and just lift up and let's get a shot of how much it covers from inside the bowl. So there's a pretty good, now even though it says that it could mix 5 quarts, there's it really can't mix till the whole bowl, but this is kind of where it starts since this part can't mix, but it's pretty good for the planetary mixing. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a demo of how the stand mixer mixes, and this is using the wire whip. So keep in mind that there's a variety of up to 10 speeds. Just get that in. Okay, so zoom in on the bowl. This is speed one. Now obviously I am already can tell that I'm really gonna be pissed off with this because it makes a lot of noise. This is speed two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. Okay, that's about it. And let's see how much you can do if we lift the ball up. So what I really like is that it's coming all around the bowl, so if you have any ingredients that are on the side of the bowl, it's pretty planetary, it mixes, it gives full coverage, so I'm pretty pleased by that. Okay, so right now I only have time to do one demo, so let's see how the dough hook works. So just move on our whisk attachment, and we're going to add... Some flour, there's no specific amount, it's just testing. I should have purchased the pouring shield to this. And we're just going to add a little bit of water to our flour. And let's get our spiral dough hook attachment in. Okay. Now we've got our attachment on. Let's lift the bowl up. Hang this. Okay, good. Now let's set it on two. Okay, let's. Hmm, okay, so far so good. Let's add a little bit more water.
now it says this thing is supposed to mix through the toughest of those with a capacity of 12 cups of flour so I really do expect a lot from it since my old one used to shake a lot so it's not going on the Okay, let's add more water because as you can see a dough ball is forming. And speed up. Okay. Okay, let's even get some flour kind of. I was really expecting it to capture all the flour, but let's see what happens. Okay. Let's get it back to work. So let's just, for sake, put it on higher speed. Not bad, let's add a bit more water. And that should do it. Um, let's come back after a little while and see how it does. Okay, so... Let's turn our mixture off. And as you can see, the dough has kind of formed into a ball. So, I think that kind of concludes. We should let it sit more in the mixer, but let's not try to make this video too long and boring like one of my posts, including the boring part. Okay, so, <clears throat> this is the last piece. This is the five-quart bowl, and... This is a handle now, it's contoured, it's not ergonomic like the artisan stand mixer, so that's already something I find really cheap and non-professional considering this is a professional stand mixer. And another thing is that you need to snap it into place by making these needles go through the holes, so let me just show you guys how it's done. And from here, you just, once it's inserted, you just snap it into place. There. And it's ready to mix. Okay, so, that's pretty much it. We've covered all the attachments that come with it. The mixing, and I really would want to show you guys how the whisk attachment, the paddle attachment works, but currently I'm...